Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with cream of cauliflower soup. That's right, not only am I showing you one of my favorite soups of all time, I'm also gonna show you something called bacon gremolata to top it with. So this is like soup with benefits. And it was really, really good. So here's how you make it. We're gonna toss in some chopped onions and a little bit of celery into a soup pot over medium heat with a little bit of olive oil in there. I'm gonna put a big pinch of salt and we're just gonna sweat those vegetables for about five, six minutes, just until the onions start to turn translucent, okay? So while that's happening, that's gonna give us the perfect amount of time to trim our cauliflower. So I have two heads, and back in culinary school, we used to cut it in half, and then take the knife and make like a little angle cut to cut out that core, which is kind of dumb, because for a soup, that core is fine to throw in. So anyway, that's more habit for me than anything. You really just need to pull off those green leaves, and you can pretty much use all the rest. So anyway, take out the core, don't take out the core, it doesn't really matter, but you're gonna wanna cut those up into pieces, and there's my two heads trimmed, all right? Now at this point, you'll see the onions have turned translucent. I'm gonna add in three cloves of garlic. You don't need to chop them, just hold like that. Just give them a stir in that oil for about a minute, and the aromatic vegetable base of the soup is done. All right, at that point, we're gonna throw in one russet potato that I just peeled and quartered. That's really gonna give the soup a great texture, give it a little bit of thickness, just a little extra starchiness that the cauliflower really doesn't have, okay? So we're gonna throw that in. We're gonna dump in our cauliflower. I'm gonna throw in a quart of chicken stock or broth. I'm also gonna throw in a quart of cold water. By the way, you could use all broth. If you're doing this vegetarian style, you could use all water, doesn't matter. And then all I need you to do is turn your heat up to high, bring it up to a boil, and then of course back the heat down to medium low just to keep it at a nice steady simmer, right? Something that sort of looks like that. And that's gonna simmer like that for about 30 minutes. And how you know you're ready to proceed, the potatoes will be smashable, right? So if you grab a potato and mush it against the side of the pot, it will just collapse like that and you know you're ready. By the way, if you're new to cooking, soups are a great way to start. You can't break a soup, so don't be afraid. At that point, we're gonna blend this soup to a very, very smooth puree. I'm gonna use one of these stick blenders, very, very fast and easy and convenient. You can use a regular blender or food processor if you're careful, but one way or another, I want you to puree that until completely smooth, and you can see that gorgeous velvety texture. I think this is a really, really pretty soup. That's right, I got a thing for soups. It's completely normal. So at that point, I want you to put your heat down to low, and we're gonna season this up with a little bit of cayenne and salt. Now, a lot of people like to put nutmeg in this. I don't. I don't really think it helps, but it is conventional wisdom to add nutmeg to a cream-based soup. But you know what? There's nothing more dangerous than conventional wisdom. And I'm not just talking about cooking, all right? So I don't add it. And then last but not least, a nice big splash of real cream, heavy cream. Stir that in, and that soup is done. Of course, you're gonna give it one last taste to check for salt. Remember earlier when I told you you couldn't break a soup? That was just a lie to instill confidence. If you undersalt your soup, it's not that good. All right, so be sure to taste and check. All right, so once you're happy with that, just leave that on very low heat until your bacon gremolata is done, which is what we're doing here. We're gonna throw some cut up bacon in a pan on medium heat, and we're gonna cook that until crisp. At that point, we'll remove the bacon pieces to a paper plate or towel and we'll reserve the fat in the pan. Now reduce the heat down to low and add some fresh breadcrumbs. So I just pulled out a handful of crumbs from the middle of a loaf of Italian bread, and we're simply gonna toast those breadcrumbs in that bacon fat until golden and kinda crisp. I'm also gonna grate in some Parmesan cheese, which will also help the browning and the crispiness. And when it looks, and more importantly sounds right, like that, I'm gonna turn off the heat. I'm gonna let that cool down to room temperature. I'm gonna throw it in a bowl. I'm gonna add our bacon pieces back in. We'll also add some freshly grated lemon zest, which I think is a crucial ingredient, so don't skip that. And then a nice handful of freshly chopped Italian parsley. Now, if you want, you can just mix that up with a spoon and serve it. But if you want it a little finer, and or you wanna know that you touched every single person at your dinner party's portion, you can use your hand to crush it up a little more. And that's it. That is now ready to accessorize your lovely cream of cauliflower soup. So go ahead and ladle that into a warm bowl. Put a big old spoon of that bacon gremolata on top. Of course, if you're taking pictures, make sure you get a couple really nice looking pieces of bacon on there. And there you go. 
cream of cauliflower soup, it would be delicious plain. But when you add those baconized breadcrumbs on top, adding some texture, adding some smokiness, adding a little hint of lemon, and the freshness from the parsley, just so, so good. You can stir it in and eat it like I'm doing it, or you can leave it on top and just take a little bit with each spoonful. It's all up to you. You are the boss after all, or should I say superintendent? Oh yeah, I've been waiting weeks to use that. Anyway, I really hope you give this a try. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy.